Jotaro Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mendez, it's too late. He can't hear you. Your, your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. I'm so. I'm so sorry, Barry. I, Sorry. Offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesu Cristo V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. 
I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody.
pool table, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. I need a special delivery. Beer, and even dozen cases.
Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but... Just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but... That's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered. But I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. 
He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <laughs> This'll be... fitting. Found it. long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium? They used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. 
true memento this. Still. Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah, perfect for Jackie. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane? To Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, 
Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olo, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more and never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind on something. He was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. 
people. If he's watching. Bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Tum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be. Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally.